Hi, I'm Mal with LBC Mag. Today I'm here with Cindy from Legacy Pilates and Yoga, and we are going to talk about fitness for the new year. What we teach in yoga and Pilates is that you start from the inside yeah. out. In That's exercise science, we're really taught to work as hard and as fast as you can, yes. and then maybe you'll get some core strength. Yeah. So we want to kind of change that around and go from the inside out. Specifically with yoga and Pilates, what are some of the key benefits for doing these moves that you're going to show us how to do? Well, absolutely core strength. Yeah. You know, to work All the middle. Here, yeah. Right. Um, stress management is another good yes. key. You know, a lot mm. of people are just, you know, too yeah. stressed. Um, Flexibility and strength are the key components yeah. to balancing the body. As an athlete, power lifter, weight trainer, exercise science person, yeah. it's a totally different feeling that you get yeah. when you do this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's great. So where do we start? Okay, so the first thing we want to learn is neutral pelvis. Yes. So what happens is a lot of people have stances or postures yeah. that they're normally used to hanging mm -hmm. in. And so with neutral, we want to make sure that the pelvis is where it's supposed to be to get the best benefit out of the core. Right. So we don't want to be hanging either way. Right. So what I call the lower triangle is square to the wall that you're okay. looking at. So okay. here would be straight ahead. If we're laying on the floor, that triangle is going to be straight up to the sky. Right. Okay. So let's do crisscross. Okay. So you're going to lay down and let's start just at your shoulder blades bra strap area on the pillow. The right leg's going to go out on the floor, hands behind your head. Now we keep that neutral as we come up, good. And then we're gonna curl the head, curl the ribs up. Right leg's gonna come in and bend the knee. Then, now you've got this little hammock with your shoulder mm -hmm. blades. Now you rotate your hammock over and up higher. Rotate and squeeze me in. Now think, not from the elbow, but from your rib cage. Oh, and then you change. It no, just that's becomes great. Easier. Yeah, it feels like you feel it a lot more. Absolutely. A lot of times the mistake is people take their hands out too wide. So you're going to be right underneath your shoulders and step out with your right foot out on the floor. You got it. And then if it feels okay, then you put the other foot out on the floor and then you just lift your body up a little higher. If one is to feel the lower back, then you want to make sure that you've got your abs engaged and maybe lift the butt up higher or bring the knees back down on the floor. What happens is most people have a tendency to drop their head and sag in their back. What happens is a lot of times women don't have the upper body strength, so they sag in the middle. Okay? So we have to really think, push the floor away and lift the head up. So with a warrior position, we're gonna do a warrior two, is you're gonna step out on the straight line on the mat and then shift to your weight and step back into a big lunge. And you push the side walls away, so flex your, yeah, like stop Mr. Postman. <laughs> this knee is wanting to collapse in, so you gotta push it out. Yep, there's the butt again. So when you use your outer thigh, you'll feel a stretch on the inner thigh. Now this back leg, the tendency is to wanna to collapse in the arch of the foot. The knee has to track over your foot. Oh yeah, now push and lift up and then sink. That knee has to almost spin outward because it wants to fall inward and then push. You should really start out slow and build your way up. Absolutely. And I think a lot of times it's burnout. You know, mm. starting too fast, too hard, doing oh, too much. Yeah. I've learned that it really helps me and it's stress, as you've said, but also I found that it helps me sleep better if I go to do it before bed, things like that. So what do you kind of say to women when they're a little nervous about yoga? You know, there are different styles of yoga, mm -hmm. and you can really get heavily into the spiritual base. Um, it is mind, body, spirit, right. but everything is intermixed, but it's not religion. So it teaches yeah. one how to become a better person, to feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. You're going to impact your family in a better way. We do have a kids yoga class. Oh, how fun. And we have done a mommy and me class before. Oh, right. So the mom can actually bring the infant yeah. in or the child in, depending on the age group of the class. Mm -hmm. And they work out with the child. So you get yeah. that bonding time, you get near time, mm -hmm. you actually get to use the child as resistance sometimes yeah. in certain exercises. Oh, how so great. it's fun and effective. Find something that you love to do, yes. that you're going to stick with, and that you'll be consistent week by week. Thanks so much for joining us. For more information on Legacy Pilates, Yoga, and more, log on to lvcmag.com.